This story may be hard to believe, especially since I don't have the photo at hand, but I promise I'm telling the truth. When I was a kid, I went on a church service trip to New Orleans. Our aim was to help clean up remaining damages from when Katrina hit. About midway into our trip, we helped remove brush and debris from some old plot of land so that a playground could be built. We were all ecstatic because the day was incredibly productive, and we really believed that the spiritual forces of good, godliness, were at work through us. That night, we visited Bourbon Street to have dinner, listen to some live music, and celebrate the work that had been done. At some point, one of the church leaders was taking pictures and pointed her camera to the sky, facing a distant casino. The sky was clear, no clouds. She snapped a photo, and when the screen displayed her photo, there was a silver-looking face, smiling heinously, while clasping his hands, protecting the casino. His face seemed metallic, with many wrinkles. If you can imagine the Heath Ledger Joker, but without eyes, a huge mouth, no teeth, and many wrinkles. Like fabric being pulled in multiple directions. That's what it looked like. It had wet-looking orange hair that draped about midway down its face. Its nose was half-missing. The entire group went hysterical when they all looked at the photo. And the rest of the night, we were disturbed. The joy that we had felt all day instantly went away. Few of us slept. I had a variety of hallucinations in the dark, of demons falling into me. I didn't get any sleep. There were a few girls in the room next to me who I could hear crying in terror about what had just taken place. I say all of this to illustrate how the incident felt like a direct successful attempt to hijack our spirits of positive energy. One person in the group tried to come up with multiple natural explanations for the incident, but the leader who took the photo always had new details to explain how there wasn't a natural explanation for what had taken place. This incident alone has been enough to keep my agnostic ass alert and aware of all possibilities. I'm a 28-year-old male, but this happened when I was just 15. I loved smoking weed back then, so I was basically smoking with my friends every day. I grew up in the UK, and my town was pretty big, with a population of nearly 100,000. The place I lived was like an estate full of houses. I had a best friend at the time who lived about a 20 to 25 minute walk from my house, but in order to get there, you had to walk through a wooded area that led to a big lake that you could walk around to get near his house. So one day, randomly, I was out with my friend who I just mentioned, plus many others, when we noticed a lot of police presence in the area, near the woods. Plus, there was a police helicopter in the air. Being curious, we followed the police to the woodlands that separated our houses. We went through the woods to the lake where the police and ambulance workers were, along with many bystanders at this point. We got there and started asking people we knew what happened. We were told that a young boy around the age of seven had drowned in the lake near the path where everyone was gathering. Over the next couple of days, police were trawling the lake, looking for the child. They knew he was there because his friend had ran for help when he fell in and couldn't get out. Two or three days after he slipped in, the authorities found the young boy's body, which was big news in my town. No later than 24 hours after the boy was found, the local council installed a black metal bench on the footpath near where he had died with a little plaque commemorating his life. Okay, so that very next day, I was out with my friend over near where I lived. We were getting high with a bunch of other friends that we knew. By the time we were done getting high, we decided to go back to his house to sleep because my mom would have gone crazy over the fact that we were high. We started to walk back to his house at around 11 p.m. It was really dark out. We passed my house and eventually got to the woods we walked through the woods and got to the start of the lake. We started walking down the side of the lake, down the path towards where the kid had drowned and the bench was. We were just talking nonsense as high teens did. 
when I noticed that there was a man sitting on the bench. Now, I was a little bit freaked out by this, but I didn't say anything yet. It was 11 p.m. near the woods in the dark. It was creepy, but when I got a little closer, I noticed that I could see what the man was wearing. He was dressed as a priest. You know, black jacket, white collar. Upon seeing the priest, I sighed some relief because I just presumed he was praying or something. Most likely for the kid that had drowned in that spot four days earlier. So after noticing this priest, I just watched him sit there as I got closer and closer. I didn't say anything to my friend who was right next to me, but we collectively stopped talking once we noticed the man. As we got closer, it was more obvious that he was a priest. And then, once we got within five meters, he was gone. I felt like I blinked and he just disappeared. When we were walking past the actual bench where I'd seen him... There was nobody there, but if he was to have just gotten up and walked away, I'd have seen him. It's a one-way track. After I got to the bench, I turned to my friend, who was just as confused and spooked as I was. I asked him if he'd just seen that man that sat on the bench. I didn't want to say what type of man, because the way he was dressed was very obvious as to what type of man he was. But as I asked him... Did you see that man that sat on the bench? He said, Yeah, the guy dressed like a priest. When I tell you my heart sunk, I can't explain that feeling or that situation to this day. What gets me is I purposely asked my friend if he'd seen the man. He corrected me by saying the priest. If it was a person, they'd have to get up and walk away from us in a straight line down the path which we'd have seen, or they'd have to walk past us 